Okay, what's up, hey, G4T? I'm here with uh, the ranch boss, and just getting acclimated to the property. I mean, well, some of these hogs, your big, we call them swamp hogs, they'll get down here in this real thick, wet, nasty stuff, and you won't even see them. We, don't, we no longer allow hunters to walk down here because of the level of danger that your biggest hogs are gonna be in this stuff. So we'll set them up in blinds and behind cover, and that's a good 100 plus pound hog. Oh, really? Yeah, he didn't see. I mean, he, he thinks we don't see him, so he's not gonna move, but if we were to, let me turn the vehicle off and see if that stirs him up. Sometimes a change in the, in. The... Oh, it was a huge boar, and they get And very... it, 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 it was like taller than me. That it was so that, huge. That hog, when it stretched out, it had to been at least seven feet tall. So it can be dangerous out here. Typically, a hog will not attack you unless they're threatened, cornered, or you get between a mother and her, her babies or piglets, then it gets dangerous. Look, look at this mud hole here. Hold on a minute. Let me get try to And this is exactly what the, uh, what the hog does. They like that muddy. They love it. So you got people posted up at blinds, you got people walking the property. But you know, this is a clearing right here. This is a clearing, this is the boundary to our back section. And uh, the guys the guys caught a, a, quite a few hogs last uh, last night, huh? Yeah, we shot about 14 hogs after dark last night, so it was a very successful night. There were four shots, I don't think anybody could hear them. There we go. We're gonna ride over there and see what they got. Apparently some of our guys just got it. Listen. <laughs> You're gonna hear another shot. You hear that? There's the finish. Okay, these are some bad shooters. <coughs> Can you hear that? Can you hear that noise? That's what happens when you don't make a good clean kill shot. The hog is down. Let's go pick him up. Shot. You get a call in that there's a hog down. Oh, there's the guys. I can see him. But uh, in this case, you don't even need a call. No, nope, because you know, you know they're there happen to be at the right place at the right time we'll cut across this field a shortcut to them <coughs> they got into a pretty good pack of hogs that was about eight to ten shots are these guys that are walking yeah these are the walkers some of the walkers watch your face here I'm gonna this brush. there's at least two hogs down that we're gonna have to have to account for because I can hear two different hogs squilling so Oh my God, look at the size of that thing. We're doing a little uh, video uh, for the uh, for the ranch here. Let's see, 1572? Yes, sir. Oh, whoa, he's still moving. So what happened with him? Come running down the road and I shot him. That was it, huh? Okay, George, you're gonna have to finish this one off with the knife. You just, uh... It's okay, I'll keep filming. I'll cut his throat, that don't bother me, but if you're playing with the new guy, then He's a new guy. He has to get no, 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 George. No, no, I'm not ready for that yet, man. <laughs> oh, it ain't that bad. A little blood and gut never hurt nobody. Nah, he's. You say he ought to be dead. He's kind of quivering. He's dead. Those are just nerves. I'm not gonna fill. I'm not gonna. Here's the teeth on this thing. I want you to look at the point. Now, if this animal, with the power of his strong muscles in his neck, if that were to enter your body, it would open you up like a knife, and then he would chomp down on you with his top tooth. And when these two teeth come together, right there where they meet is like a scissor. And if they get any part of your body between this point of contact, it's over. It's not gonna be a happy day for you. All right, that was a couple of nice boar hogs we just picked up. One was about 130 pounds, one was about uh, 150 pounds. I just got a call from uh, base camp that some other hunters on the other end of the ranch just knocked down a couple of good hogs. So we're headed over to northeast end of the ranch as well as uh, our T-blind. Got a good hog down there, so we're gonna go down there and see how good it is, but uh, I knew today was gonna be a good day. The weather's right. It's nice and muddy and nasty, just like the pig likes Here it. We go. Here we go. These guys haven't even called in yet. They've got a hog down. 